Welcome to the second hour of this morning. Here are today's headlines. The government is considering handing out 500,000 won to young adults who have remained unemployed for the long term as part of its second emergency disaster relief fund. According to local reports, those aged 18 to 34 whose household earns less than 120 percent of the standard median income are expected to be eligible, which will amount to 100,000 people. The government is also considering extending the 180-day period for handing out employment retention subsidies set to end on September 30th, which cover up to 90 percent of small and medium-sized companies' payouts for leave of absence and temporary shutdowns. Free flu shots are being offered for children, pregnant women, and senior citizens who account for 27 percent of the entire nation starting yesterday as part of the government's efforts to prevent simultaneous spread of the coronavirus and influenza. Inoculation for children aged 9 and younger began yesterday and will begin on the 22nd for those aged 9 to 18 and pregnant women and mid-October for citizens aged 62 and older. Free flu shots will be offered at designated medical institutions and health centers, and pre-registration is required through the National Immunization Program's website or smartphone app. Major local and global platforms, including Facebook, Netflix, and Naver, will be held accountable for delayed connection and other issues related to unstable services resulting in user damage, according to the revised Telecommunications Business Act that was pre-announced yesterday. The revision applies to operators that account for more than 1% of internet traffic in Korea that had an average of over 1 million users over a three-month period last year. It mandates the operators to come up with measures and guidelines to secure stable servers and services, including server capacity that can respond to sudden traffic spikes. Finally, Chinese President Xi Jinping has praised his country for passing an extraordinary and historic test with the handling of the novel coronavirus, saying the country's open and transparent response helped save tens of millions of lives globally. Xi praised China for becoming the first large economy to return to growth during the pandemic at a ceremony to honor those involved in fighting the virus yesterday. Ahead of the ceremony, Beijing's state-funded People's Daily newspaper highlighted the leader's competence in responding to the outbreak and making the right decisions at crucial moments, including the lockdown in Wuhan. You can listen to these headlines once again on our YouTube channel by searching TBS EFM. You'll also get a script of the headlines and subtitles as well. Coming up next, we continue our discussion as to how the U.S. presidential race looks right now. Thank you.